everybody, it's Bunny, and uh, I am so excited for today's video. It's gonna be about fashion, it's gonna be a try on hurl, and there's gonna be a giveaway inside of it as well. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new H&M Moschino collab. I will always want to call them Machino, and I learned about two years ago that you actually say it Moschino which I don't like as much because it makes me think of mosquitoes. And then I think about how Texas, we have mosquitoes all the time, even in the dead of winter. I get itchy, welpy, I don't know. Anyway, mosquito it is. <laughs> but H&M did just have a brand new collab with them. And so those are the pieces that we're going to be looking at today. I'm wearing one now and... I feel very sparkly. I feverishly ripped open the box and I would like to lie and say that I haven't worn some of these pieces before, that I was just saving them for the video, uh, but I've been wearing them already. Acquiring these pieces has a little bit of a baby, like tragic backstory. I knew that these pieces were coming. Like I had been seeing teasers on Instagram that was like popping up in my feed from like Jeremy Scott and Moschino. Maybe I saw an H&M one, I don't know. Mostly what I was seeing was this bag and uh we'll look at this more in just a second but i i set an alarm to try and wake up to purchase these pieces from the h&m website but it dropped last week when i was like deathly ill i was like sick for 11 12 days in a row running a fever had the chills the whole nine yards so i actually set an alarm to try and get these pieces and i slept through it uh, so if H&M had not so graciously reached out to me, I would have gotten nothing. I'm very fortunate. So this is not sponsored, but they did send over these pieces. Full disclosure, just wanted to tell you guys what's up. I don't know why I'm like so expressive with my hands today. Maybe I just want to show you guys this bracelet that I found. I have had this for a million years. It's a little sterling silver bracelet with little babies? Say hello to the babies. Let's move into the video. This has been the most rambly. Raise your hand if you're still here. And if you're still here, you're lucky because I've got a giveaway for you guys. And it's the very first item that we're gonna be looking at from the collection, which is the signature Moschino teddy bear. But this little guy is in fact, a phone case. When I first saw this online, I will admit I was a little bit concerned with like how do you take pictures, you know, with a giant teddy bear adhered to your phone, but I was pleasantly surprised when I got it in the mail to discover that it's on this like little swivel thing and so whenever you want to take a picture you just turn him and he gets out of the way very nicely. I have two of these phone cases to give away to two lucky Swamp Family members. Just check the info box for all the giveaway details. These technically are for the iPhone 6, 7, and 8 but you can Frankenstein them if you so desire because I have the iPhone XS Max. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to saying that and I just kind of like cut the real phone case and Gorilla glued it to an appropriately sized phone case. I love everything that's like cute and blushy and little teddy bears. It's just, it's so cute. Next, I think it's only right that, wow, I almost punched myself in the face with this. That would have been amazing. Honestly, this is the piece that I was most excited about in the whole collection. I love handbags that are strange. Moschino, I feel like, definitely has a history of making weird handbags. They came out with this one two or three seasons ago that was a trash can, and I am kicking myself for not purchasing it. I'm making up for it by carrying this giant combination lock. They actually had two lock style bags. One looked like a smaller like padlock and then they had this one that was a big old combination lock and I, I just love this thing. This is actually like a metal handle. It's just so like 
is hyper realistic the word that I'm looking to describe it? Can you just imagine like walking around the mall carrying this thing and everybody's like, what's what's going on with her? Is she crazy? To which I would respond, why yes, madam, thanks for asking. You actually just pull this front section open and that's how you can place your belongings inside. It's pretty spacious in there which I think is quite impressive, and it has a nice magnetic closure. Up next, we are going to examine the pieces that I have been wearing constantly. It's been very cold this past week in Texas. I have not been enjoying it, but I have been enjoying this sweatsuit set, and they actually have or had this unisexy, unisexily, men's and women's. I mean, it's a sweatshirt and sweatpants, so you know. But it has the MTV logo combined with the Moschino logo and it's a very nice thick cotton, super soft, but you know it's like a standard cut hoodie, very nice and roomy. I did leave the tag in the box because this is the tag that was on it. I just wanted to show y'all the hang tag because I thought it was so cool. So this is actually a sticker and it looks like a CD. The other piece that matched this are these sweatpants and they have the same logo. They're made out of the same fabric. They have pockets, nice and soft. I feel like this whole collection is just really detailed and high quality because the little ends, you know, instead of being like knots, like normal sweatpants might have the little string, you actually get these nice weighted little silver bits at the bottom, which... I just love stuff like like little details like that. Some of these pieces were definitely more pricey than normal H&M items are. Like I believe this bag was around $250. The sweatpants and sweatshirt I believe were like $69 a piece. So that's the kind of price range that these pieces are slash were. Why don't we talk about the next piece which is actually the piece that I'm wearing now which is is surprisingly toasty but it is a I guess you could call it a hoodie dress so it has a hoodie that would be kind of necessary for it to be a hoodie dress it's just covered in sequins and it is kind of short definitely like I would always wear shorts under it but I love how you can just like pull this drawstring and you know it's something that's like kind of casual kind of dressy at the same time very festive for the winter holiday season very sparkly it's got a zipper in the front if you wanted to like highlight something that you were wearing under it. Like today I'm wearing my fabulous Sting shirt under here. I might might want to show that off. Um, and it also has a little zippered pocket section in the front. I don't know what you would put in here. Maybe like Twizzlers or Peppermints or something. But you got a pocket on the front at your disposal. Up next was something that I just, I thought it was so cute. It is a faux fur scarf with these little tail accents on the end which that probably is what caught my eye about this piece besides the color. I love this color. It's like a very yellow almost like a green kind of yellow. I'm not sure what color it's showing up to you guys like through the digital world but in person it's a very like greenish yellow and I think that these little tail accents is really what drew me to this piece because I feel like that's a very like 40s 30s 40s kind of thing. You guys know me I'm very into like the old vintage kind of stuff and so I feel like that's one of the things I loved most about this piece was like based on the fabric and the color, it's very modern and loud and crazy, but the cut and what it is, is very retro. And it's pretty cool because you could actually take off these little tail things as well if maybe you didn't want to wear the scarf, but you wanted to use this as a keychain or hook it onto a bag or something. I will show you guys the other bag that I got from this collection. And 
and oh my gosh it is so tiny and cute i have to take the little like plastic coverings it still has like safety covers is that what you would call these uh little like plastic wraps to keep the zippers safe from harm i love the way that this piece was modeled was it on instagram they had like a monster hand grabbing this purse i just thought it was so cool it was just like a little icing on the cake experience i will admit i definitely kind of expected this bag to be a little bit larger i didn't think it was going to be like the full-size moschino motorcycle jacket bags if you guys know anything about this brand if you like it or i don't know if you're into fashion then you'll probably recognize this is like a very standard design for moschino i think for the past couple of years they've done them in all sorts of colors um they've had some with like spikes on it some with patches all kinds of different designs but Ultimately, it's looked like a little motorcycle jacket. I keep wanting to buy one, but I, for some reason, I've just never, like, committed. But they have those bags in a couple of different sizes, kind of like a larger and a more medium one. So this is definitely, like, its teeny, tiny, itty-bitty little cousin. But I think that that is just so adorable i mean obviously you couldn't keep a phone or anything in here if you were like going out and you just wanted to take like you know a credit card your id that's kind of the perfect size of what this bag could be used for it does come with a full length chain so it definitely is intended to be carried as a shoulder bag or a crossbody this kind of was one of the more pricier items of the collection. I think this was like $170. I feel like they're just so high quality. Like everything on here, if it's a zipper, it unzips. It's heavy. It just feels like luxurious. Up next, I have these crazy statement boots and i feel like i kind of can't show them all off in frame they are over the knee and once again i feel like this is a very standard like moschino design moschino piece like there's almost nothing h&m about this if that makes any sense it has all the bells and whistles like very kind of in your face is that what i'm trying to say like they're just like busy but in the best kind of way you've got gold lettering on the side that says moschino you've got these big heavy luxurious metal tipped tassels on the front they lace up the fabric is quilted and you also have these moschino charms on the front which i love of course when you're walking in them and you're wearing them they jingle they rattle they tell everyone hey i'm here the other cool thing about these once again is you have the option of taking off this front moschino logo charm so if you wanted to put this on something else i can't suggest something else right now but you could oh look you could almost like wear it as a necklace right of course like take them off and wear them like this for like a more understated dressed down kind of look that jingles less the next two things i'm not gonna model because I'm just not. Um, one is a swimsuit which has the all over CD logo on it. You guys know I'm obsessed with the 90s. Unfortunately, too cold to go swimming now, uh, but I cannot wait to rock this as soon as it's warm enough again. Or maybe in the hot tub. You can go hot tubbing in the winter. I also definitely view this as I do my black milk swimsuits slash bodysuits which is you can wear it as a bodysuit as well if you wanted to rock it with like a high-waisted skirt or i don't know layer with it next piece i love this it is a rhinestone encrusted bralette and this literally feels like an absolute runway piece or something that you would see, I don't know, like a singer perform in and wear on stage. It's 
wild. It is very heavy, but it is so adorable on. I don't know what else I can say about this guy except for it's just really gorgeous. It is definitely an extreme statement piece. I mean, the whole thing is just covered in these heavy um, jewels and rhinestones and I just freaking love it. I don't know. Uh, this was definitely another piece that I was most excited for just because it is like so outlandish. I feel like it's such a collector's piece. I don't know. I love it. I'm very excited. Down to the last two items. One is this cute little um, leather moto jacket and it's a cropped jacket and it has gold detailing. Once again, I feel like this is just a really standard Moschino type piece. It matches this little bag I showed you guys very cutely. It's almost like this jacket made this bag. Very high quality. All of these zippers and stuff have a nice weight to them. And I just feel like this is like a standard piece that you can keep in your wardrobe, dress it up, dress it down, whatever you wanna do with it. And Last but not least, I have a gigantic faux fur <laughs> coat. This is definitely for the colder days. It is long and it is very fluffy, very thick, very, very, very warm. And it has all of this gold chain detailing wrapped all over it. I love the color. I believe that it was described as cherry online. It's more pink than red. Actually, it's, it's all pink, but it's kind of like a red pink. And it's just so loud and furry. Uh, I love it. I'm a real baby when it comes to any kind of cold temperature. Don't want it don't need it thanks very much so whenever i have to go out when it's cold i want to be very very warm and bundled in a very thick coat so this is definitely gonna take care of that those are all the pieces that i have to show you guys and share with y'all today uh let me know what you think were you excited for this collection did you not care are you excited to see who is the next designer that h&m is going to collab with i do feel like they do these about once a year i'm not gonna lie i wish that they did them more frequently it kind of reminds me of when target used to collab with awesome designers. I'm trying to remember all the ones that they did before. I almost want to say they had like a Mew Mew collection and an Alexander McQueen collection. They would have those pieces in Target stores and they would just feel like really high quality and really interesting and kind of like a way to get some designer pieces without paying designer prices and i really feel like this is similar to that and i'm loving it so that is it for me today leave me your thoughts and opinions down below good luck to everybody who's entering to win one of the cute little bear cases and thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye